what is up guys this is karan here welcome again to tech karan youtube channel this is msm extended android 11 based official custom room which i have installed right now on my redmi note 9 pro which is available for a lot of devices including redmi note 5 redmi note 7 asus max pro m1 redmi k20 these are a lot of devices actually which is which it is available for and maybe for some other devices which have the unofficial bid this is one of those customizable rooms out there which is present for android 11 and android 11 right now and and from my opinion this is the first custom room with these much of customizations i have ever used right now on my redmi note 9 pro which is very impressive right now in the terms of features performance a lot more things this is msm extended which the maintainer is sonal sig sonal sing 18 right now for redmi note 9 pro users if you are also redmi note 9 pro user poco m2 pro user yes this is a mere tool build so yes you can install this on redmi note 9 pro redmi note 9 s redmi note 9 pro max or poco m2 pro these are the devices which it, this build can be installed but also for other devices it's officially available too i'll try to provide the link in the description for all the official supported devices so you can go and check it out let's find out which are the things you get in msm extended custom room guys this is one of the smoothest ever builds out there for some devices this is msm extended based on android 11 and right now i am fully satisfied with this build from the status bar you can see i have the volty icon and the wo wi-fi icon both are available at the same time which looks really really interesting I am using Airtel SIM here, so the voltage is perfectly fine here, the Wi-Fi is perfectly fine here, and for your kind of information, this is the official build, so there should be no major bugs at all. Might be a little bit of bugs here and there, but I didn't got any till now, and no major bugs, Bluetooth, hotspot, mobile data, everything is perfectly fine here, no issues here at all. Also, if we talk about the quick settings colors, you can see the colors look really interesting, and I think it should be better than the stock one, and you have the great effect here and there which you can adjust of course if you want to adjust them it has a theme room available which is very interesting wi-fi bluetooth and mobile data hotspot location everything is perfectly fine here including we have the dolby tiles option available here too a lot more extra tiles options available here and it's far better than the stock usb or lineage us and in the terms of battery backup it's perfectly fine too we have the theme styles option available, heads up, data saver, screencast, invert colors, Xiaomi parts and a lot more things. And right now, this is one of my favorite rooms out there. First of all, in the terms of the default wallpaper, which looks very, very interesting. A simple one, minimalistic one, which I am really fan of these kind of things and looks interesting. Talking about the Magisk, right now I'm using the latest Magisk V21.0 and if you don't know, Magisk V21.0 is fully officially supported for Android 11 right now. I already had a video on this Magisk V21.0. If you have not watched it yet and you can go and check it out, the link for the Magisk and the video is also available here. You can go and check out my channel regarding this Magisk V21.0 and let's check out the safety net status. Unfortunately, the safety net status is not passed in my redmi note 9 pro maybe in your device you will get the safety net status pass also you can hide the magisk if you want to but right now i'm not using any banking apps here right now i'm just using paytm here which is perfectly fine so i have no issues here at all i have not tried the google pay or any other things so maybe i'll get some issues here but right now i didn't try it so no issues here at all this build include a lot of features by the way as i already told you as you can see it's whenever we go to the extensions we have the theme room buttons decor room gestures lock screen nav bar notifications power menu quick setting status bar system and extras which is seriously a lot but still i'll tell you some features are missing here which were present in android 10 based rooms but yes it's android 11 so just wait for some cool kind of features going into the battery we have some detailed stats available last full charge screen usage battery temperature battery health a lot more things this is kind of really interesting we have the full detail option available if you go to the display option where you can adjust the colors natural boosted or adapted this is a very interesting thing you can choose the natural one you can choose the boosted one so whichever color suits you you can choose according to your display or according to your eyes whichever you want to choose we have the double tap to wake option available here font size display size or with these kind of things which you can 
adjust if you want to try it out according to the sound and vibration we have the vibrate for calls volume steps which you can increase if you want to of alarm music notification ringer or whatever else you want to try it out you can choose up to 60 volume steps which is really really interesting which you get only in these kind of customizable rooms out there and this is a very cool kind of room which is based on android 11 which i'm using right now if i go to the security tab we don't have the face lock option available and uh, honestly i also don't use the face lock most of the times i already use fingerprint and this is perfectly fine here no issues here at all too google digital well-being parental controls no issues here at all also if you go to xiaomi parts me sound enhancer enable touch boost display color calibration fps info overlay xiaomi doze clear speaker selenux mode enable usb fast charge these are some cool and interesting features which you get here and these are the features might be device specific so if you have any other device might be these features will not be available for you but the features which you get here like extensions these are for all the devices which are out there with this official build Let's talk about them all these features one by one in brief. First of all, we have the theme room and from the name we can easily understand this has a lot of themes. You can choose the ASIN color, you can choose the gradient picker. Like right now I'm using the red and blue with this gradient combination. In my opinion, from my preferences, I personally like this theme. You can also adjust this theme if you want to extensions background you can adjust. And one of my favorite fonts, as I already told you, Google Sans Medium is is one of my favorite fonts out there and it's available which is perfectly fine also if you choose these fonts and if you reboot your device the font will be restored to this default one so you have to keep this thing in your mind if you are using this build 10q style and quick setting style icon bright or dark or quick settings label tint these are the options you get here if you go to the buttons option you can adjust the volume button customizations like you can choose the music control volume rocker wake and only these kind of things no extra feelings here if you go to the decor room you can customize your animations right now i'm using the list view animation like this let me show you list view animation to wave you can choose any other animations to wallpaper intra open intra close wallpaper move to back task activity or whatever animations you want to choose it all depends upon you we have the gestures customizations we have the swipe to screenshot gesture option available here if we're gonna choose the swipe to screenshot that's perfectly fine here no issues here at all i was expecting a little bit of more features if i go here and if i go to let me show you where i have these features i have the nav bar and system navigation i was expecting to hide this pill and hide that i am a switcher app but still unfortunately it's not available right now we have to little bit wait for a little bit more time so that we get these kind of things lock screen gestures almost every kind of things are same here if you go to the notifications you can customize little bit of more things here you can customize your heads up battery charging light notification lights in call vibration options breathing notifications like the sms miss call or voicemail these kind of things if you go to the power menu you can adjust a little bit of more things here you have these kind of advanced restart menus options available quick settings we have the status bar customizations but status bar customization does not have any more options available here i was expecting to customize the volty and wo wi-fi icons these are available these are present here this is a very interesting thing but it should be customizable it's not customizable yet so we can wait for that one too system has no extra customizations extras has no extra customizations these were the things i just wanted to share with you the link for this build is in the description i'll try to provide the official website link so you'll get an idea and you'll get you will get the downloading for all your devices whichever device you have this is all from today's video installation is quite simple install format data and reboot almost every process is same for almost every devices this is all thanks for watching goodbye